Hi, I'm Mimi Gonzalez, and you're watching Out at the Center. Hit it, hit it. At the time of her mid-career survey at the Guggenheim last year, American photographer Catherine Opie visited the center to talk about her work. She told us it was her first time doing a presentation in an LGBT space. It was a fascinating evening, and here are some highlights. I'd like to welcome you all to the second Tuesday lecture series, which is the oldest cultural event here at the center. But tonight, we have Catherine Opie. So is that a little baby dyke or what? So, this is my first self-portrait in 1970 in Sandusky, Ohio. As you can tell, I, you know, pretty much knew my identity from the get-go and then just flew with it for the rest of my life. And I decided that it was really important to go ahead and document my own community and begin to look at my own identity in relationship to creating a visual history. When I go around the country and I lecture to mainly non-queer audiences, I pause on this image and I just look out of the audience and I say, this is a lesbian washer and dryer. <laughs> because that's kind of the whole point. It's like, any washer and dryer is a washer and dryer. Like, come on, just again, we're here, we're queer, get used to it, get over it. But in planning the show at the Guggenheim, I didn't put the hardest of the images in here. Right now in, a, in, in the alcove in the museum are these three, um, four, four portraits. It starts with Dyke, and that's my friend Stake, who uh, tattooed Dyke on the back of her neck, and, I, and it was in 1992 that I did this. And then after Dyke, I did Dyke with a fabric background, once again trying to bring in more of an art historical context in relationship to how we begin to decipher these images. Uh, I did the, the next one, which is self-portrait cutting. And self-portrait cutting I did after a, uh, my only, at that point, domestic relationship of two years broke up. And my heart was like literally broken because I thought like this was the one that I get to have a family with. And I doodled this on a pad for about a year. And then I asked uh, an artist friend, not somebody who I knew from my SM community, but a fellow artist in Los Angeles whose work I love, Judy Bamber, to do the cutting on my back. It was really important for me to think about, like, what do we decipher images as? What do children draw? What does my own six-year-old now, at this point, he actually draws this in uh, first grade. And that's exactly what the point of this piece was, is what kind of history do, are we in? You know, and I wanted to, again, wear my identity on my body. Uh, then, 10 years later, in 2004, I make this self-portrait, which is self-portrait nursing with my son, Oliver. It was really important for me to make this piece one of the, for multiple reasons. I'm not a young Madonna and child. I'm a 40-year-old woman, you know, with a double chin and wrinkles nursing my child. Okay, now we go on to what I'm doing now. I call them football landscapes. It's also an incredible moment to be photographing these young men because actually many of them will join the military and head off to war. And what this means at that time and what ma the, co the construction of masculinity is in relationship to our culture and to kind of play witness to this and try to make landscapes is has been really interesting for me to kind of grapple with and begin to look at. And I can't completely fully articulate it yet because it's not done yet. So I want to see what happens when I finish it. And all my work is about community. So not to be part of community, then I just would feel like that would be a weird thing to do. So yeah, all of it feeds me in many, many ways in my life. For those queer youth who come into my classroom and the fact that I'm there for them, I mean, that is like the coolest thing in the world. You know, I, I'm gay and I don't know how to tell my parents. You know, like that alone is stuff that I would never get if I was just an artist alone in my own studio. And that's all for this excerpt from Out at the Center. If you want to see the full show, check it out on our website at gaycenter.org slash out. Until next time, I'm Mimi Gonzalez. Goodbye.